Here we are, sports fans, we're back again. Uh, <laughs> I want to emphasize uh, what we're doing here. We're putting the windage tray on. We have ARP uh, extended windage tray bolts on here. Uh, what you have to do with these engines is you have to trial fit everything. Uh, for instance, over here, you can see the difference in the end of the stud. This one's got the Allen thing in. We, it, there was no way you could put the pump on without it hitting the cast body here. You could see it, so you have to cut that off. And then over here, I think this hit the baffle in the pan, so we had to cut this one, we had to cut this one. And uh, this one here, it hit the pickup. So you have to cut that. You want, you want some clearance uh, at least an eighth of an inch. You want these to be able to flex a little, you know, they're going to move a little bit, not much. <clears throat> and now we're going to put the nuts on. Uh, you put one nut on here, they give you these flange nuts, and you put them on here, secure these. I don't think you have to torque them too high, maybe 40, 50 foot pounds, that's plenty, because they have, uh, they're serrated. So once they lock on, they're going to stay on. Uh, the pump and the the ARP shaft the thing is you really can't see it but it's similar to it's similar to this except the ARP shaft is all solid here so you don't get that twisting of this this is a, actually the stock 351 is much bigger than the 5 liter the 5 liter is is like quarter this is 5 sixteenths so the ARP shaft which is even better they have this little uh, one-way gizmo on here and what it is is it keeps you from the distributor of course goes in here lines up with the shaft the shaft goes in here you can see it in here where it goes into the input shaft of the pump see it here I got my finger behind it it's kind of fungal but it's hard to see anyway <coughs> um, that drives the oil pump and of course the gear on the cam drives the distributor shaft which drives this that drives the oil pump and we will in a later video show you how to prime an engine when we get the uh, we have a, a some some hammerhead took this apart but anyway uh, it still works it's good enough for a primer <clears throat> what you do is you stick this in there the the shaft of course hits there hits the oil pump over here you turn the engine will be turned over of course and we'll put uh, uh, four or five quarts of oil in it. We have to do something with our, our oil bypass thing here Maybe just bring a hose around or something and then prime the whole engine so that when you go to fire it up It gets oil pressure instantly. You do not want to crank a dry engine. Not good Because we got the bearings all lubed while you can sometimes get away with that It's not the motors not happy. It <clears> likes <throat> oil. You'll talk about the uh... yeah now this the other reason you have the trial fit is when you put this in, you you uh, you have to you have to sometimes pound this down. So you, what you can do is take a plastic hammer, and this goes in like so. I believe it's like so, yeah. And then if there's not enough clearance, you just give it a little tap, so that there's enough clearance so that you can you can uh, put the pump on, and the pump has to of course fit square with the block. See, so if the, this thing's hitting the block over here. You have to, you have to look, give it a little persuasion to give some clearance so that it'll fit into the pump. See, and that's pretty much the deal. <clears throat> All right, so we'll uh, when this is we, we'll, the we'll next video, the pan, the pan on. to be We're on. Get the front cover in the pan. We're using a one-piece oil gasket because yeah, that's the way to go. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. Right. All right. Good deal. Okay.